What up? April 26th. Just got home. Um, figured I'd talk a little bit. Um, actually, one second. All right, all right, I'm back. <laughs> I had to let the dog in. Um, she give me them big old doe eyes. Wants to get her cheese. Um, today was cool, man. Today's been cool. I, uh, I just realized today's Tuesday and I have Amazon Music and like every Monday it gives you like a new discovery list and I like to listen to it. I was like, why are these punks picking for me, you know, based on what I like, man, they always screw me over. They always have some emotional songs that bring up some kind of emotional crap, man. <laughs> Every time. Um, it gets me in my head, in my imagination for a second. I gotta, like, battle my way out of it, you know? And, um... And not really, like I said, I, I'm not battling my past anymore. Like, that's what's so crazy. It's like, all that stuff is old. Like, I done got rid of it. I got rid of it. I beat everything. Beat everything except one thing. And, um, that's what's stupid. It's like, I don't get it. Like, I, I can... That's what's so weird. It's like, I'm trying my best to be the old Cody um, in one aspect of my life, and I can't do it. I'm being. I'm trying my best to let little Hoss come in and create, get rid of one thing for me, and he he won't do it. Um, so that's why I'm like messed up. It's like it should be easy. It should be the easiest thing. I've done it many times before. I don't get it. I don't get what it is. I don't get... I'm not seeing something. I'm not understanding something. Um... I'm not able to break that connection because I don't know. I can't even see it. But I feel it. I'm so confused because it's like, this is crazy. This is dumb. I should be able to break this easy. I shouldn't give it, um... I shouldn't give it space in my head and in my body and in my heart, but it's already there. <laughs> and I can't, I, don't, I can't sell it. Like, ain't no one buying it. And, um, I can't replace it. I, don't, I can't get rid of it. Yeah, man, it's... I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, like, the hardest lesson I have to learn, the last one, or what. I'm just freaking confused with it, and, um... I don't know, bro. I don't know. It sucks. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I really don't. So I'm not gonna. The whole thing, this is what sucks. This is what sucks. I can beat 
<laughs> I could beat everything else in my life. I can't beat this. Um, and I've reshaped this already multiple times, but I can't break it. Like no matter, it's so weird. That's the only reason why. And it doesn't consume all my time. Which is another reason why this is weird, because it's like I don't, it doesn't consume my time. Um, and I don't think about this all the time, hardly any any bit. But when I do think about it, it's like really hard. And um, it's weird. It makes zero sense, because it, it's just like it's not, something's weird about it. And um, I don't know what it is, but today was a cool day. Um, I mean, I just, the day is young. And um, I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. I got some. I just bought some canvases, and I'm super excited. I bought a black canvas, and then I bought some regular white ones. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know what's gonna come out. I don't know what music I'm gonna be playing. Honestly, like I'm listening to this Discovery playlist, and then if there's a song that just whatever, I'm gonna paint to it. And um, because that's what happens, is like, I'll listen to music, and then a song just, it, it's it. That's it. And then I'll throw it into one of my playlists, and I'll listen to it for hours, you know? And, um... This music is fire. Like, literal fire for me. Um, I love it. And I love it like I love people, man. It's, um... It's just amazing, people. And they're worth so much. They're worth everything. And that could be why I'm where I'm at. Because I see someone's worth everything. And deserves everything, and no one gives it to them. And um, and I hate it, man. And it's like, I'll give it to you. It just breaks my heart. But it's probably because I've never had it either. And my whole life, it, you know, and I think that's what everyone wants. Like, they just want someone to give them it. All of it. Especially all these people that are like me, man, and just so empathetic. And only want the best for everyone else. And, and are willing to give everyone everything. Just so someone else doesn't suffer. And, um. And it's not that we're like. We need it in return. Because we don't. Because like, we're going to keep doing this. Us. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But. Maybe if we're all chasing fantasies. And, um. It's a fantasy we're never going to have. But. If that fantasy makes me. Freely give my time. And love the people. I'll, I'll live in this fantasy world forever. Because that's what it's about, man. Sharing and caring for just everyone. And loving everyone. Even when you ain't getting loved in return. You know, I mean, that's probably... It is exactly what the creator feels. He wants to give you everything. He, he does. He does give you everything. He has given you everything. He gave you this whole world. He gave you oxygen. 
He gave you food. He gave you water. He gave you shelter. He gives you love. And we give him nothing in return. We turn away and run. <laughs> we turn away and run. For years, for lifetimes. Over and over again. And then he gives us other chances. We get to do it again and we get to try again. <laughs> and then we do it again for a lifetime. Now he's like, this is the last time. This is the last chance. I would love to continue to give you chances, but I can't. I can't stop progress of the many for one anymore. Because that's not love. I made you all equal. I love you all equal. This isn't the, we're not bell curving this. <laughs> I've bell curved it enough. You have to go somewhere else and try again, but you can't do it here anymore. And the somewhere else is different. It's not the same. Weird. Music is weird, bro. I don't know. I guess this is probably it. It's a beautiful day though, man. I um I just I did uh what did I do today? I went and got my protein shake. I gotta make sure. Cause I know I'm I I do <laughs> I do things so extreme. Like I know like what's fixing to happen to me is my body's fixing to change again. Um stupid. Like I'm a monster. And um So I, gotta, I really have to be due diligent and drink enough water um, and make sure I get my protein in every day. And um, So I did that, and then what I do? Talk to those girls for a minute, got out of there, and then um, went to the dump. Oh, I may have went to the dump first. I don't really know. I don't remember. And then... What did I do? What did I do today? I'm so confused. Oh, then I came back to town. Oh, and did a yoga yoga session. It was like 45 minutes, man. That was... <laughs> Dude, I, I am the most unlimber person ever. <laughs> 
Like that's the hardest part about yoga for me is like I, is, I can't. I need to stretch, man. I need to like get limber. When I was a little kid, I was pretty limber, but now I'm an adult. I can't, I'm not limber at all. Um, but it felt good. It was 40 minutes. I'm, I'm gonna go work out in a little bit again. I'll probably do like a bike or something today. I'm just gonna like every day. I'm gonna just do two different workouts. One in the morning, one at night. And then, um, like I said, just stay on top of my water and, um, and make sure I get plenty of protein and I'll be good. I'll be good. Like the girl was like, it's not recommended to like do two sessions in a row. <laughs> I was like, well, I already did. So, uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Let's see what happens. I'm tough. I'm super tough. But yeah, whatever. That workout place is fire. I'm just gonna work out hard every day. Help balance my life out again. Implement multiple things, you know, make sure I talk every day, make sure I work out uh, twice a day. Make sure my intake is good every day. Food, water, protein intake every day. And that's good with that, like, that's my life. And then I just need to work in between that, which is fine, which is easy. Um, just do do what I can every day, work-wise, and like, you know, not go crazy, not, but that way I delegate my life to like um, that, and then, um, and then people too, like people's in there too, like in my balance. But um, it's cool, man, it, it's cool to like, know that that's kind of like my outline of life now and it's just cool like people talk to me everywhere I go now which before it was just different I, I was just blocking it I was I was I was I don't know what it was I was just it, no people did talk to me anyways um, they really did. I just, now maybe I'm just enjoying it more. Or I'm making the conversations go longer than before. Like before, sometimes like I would just like shoo them away. I just be, you know, whatever, be short with them. Now I'm like, I'm ready. Like, come on. Let's talk. Let's have a good time together. Even if it's just for a minute to two minutes, five minutes. Like, you're, you're coming into my world. Or you're freely giving giving me your time I'm gonna freely give you mine and it's so weird because I don't really initiate a lot of it um I hardly ever do I'm just me walking around with my head high and they come to me and that's what's cool um because I don't have to, I don't have to do anything that's what's so funny about a lot of this stuff it's like I don't have to do anything and I think about like that with my art too like um I'm not doing anything. I'm just putting the canvas on the thing and I'm just doing it. I don't have to do anything. Like, it's not strenuous. It's not hard. I don't have to think about it. I just put the canvas on the on my stand or whatever the crap you call it. I don't even know. I don't know anything about art. And, um, and then I go to town, you know? And it's the same with work. <laughs> People call me. And then I just... Let's just do it. It is what it is. It's easy. <laughs> I don't think about nothing. It's so fun. Life is fire, man. Life is so fun because now it's like my life consists of like just being happy and um, as long as I'm not thinking about like one thing, I'm good. Like everything else is perfect. And. and Maybe that aspect of my life is perfect, really, right now. I guess it is what it's exactly the way it's supposed to be right now. If it's supposed to be different, it would have been different. And uh, I gotta keep telling myself that, cause um, you know, if I start creating stories in my head, then like I said, then I get emotional and all that crap, and um, I get down a little bit, and um, and the only reason why I do is because it kind of brings up like not enough issues. Um, like I'm not enough but it's like but that's stupid I'm more than enough it's not me I mean maybe it is 
but I'm just saying, like, in the just, like, in the big picture, like, and that's what, you know, that's what I keep talking to people about, like, because they keep telling me about relationships, and, um, you know, people leaving them, I'm like, man, yeah, some of it is you, yeah, some of it is you, but ultimately, honestly, like, yeah, it, it is us. We're giving everything when we don't need to be giving everything because that scares the shit out of people, bro. Because no one knows what to do with it. I was listening to my speech from yesterday. I was cutting grass today. That's and it was. I said like, you know, I know I give everything always, and um, and then I was like, I only want a little bit in return, you know. But then I said out loud like, I don't even know what I would do if someone gave me everything in return I guess it's scary right and I guess that's what it is like people like us we just scare the shit out of people and they turn around and run which is fine like I guess it's us or maybe we gotta hold back I don't know because then I think I don't think so I think that's weird I think because then it makes me a liar you know and um so then you just gotta find people that are willing like, you just need to go find someone who gives everything, too. And if someone's not willing to give you everything back, or at least give you what you're giving in return, then, then you just, they don't need to be, you don't need to be with them. Because it's always going to be one-sided. And someone's always going to get disappointed if it's one-sided. And the whole thing is, like, I've grown so much. And, yeah, I talk about I give you everything. But um, it's actually different now. Like, I give you what you need now. And I see it. Like, I, uh, it's weird. Like, I put super crazy restrictions on what I give now. Um, I'm still me. But, like, I don't. But I get it. Like, you got other stuff to deal with. People got other stuff to deal with. They got families to deal with. Like, I'll shoot you a text and we're good. Like, hello, how you doing? And I'm good. Like, I'm not giving people everything anymore. Because I'm saving... I'm giving myself so much. And I'm learning, like... Honestly, that's the most important thing for me. And I, like I said, I'll reach out to people once a day. And, um... Try and lift them up. Ask them how they're doing, you know. And, um... I'm good. If they continue the conversation, then we'll keep talking. If they don't, then I'm done. And I didn't even know. Like, I didn't know I changed that much now. Um, so I'm really not the same when I, I at that anymore. Like, I'm not giving everything to everyone anymore. In the moment, like, if me and you are communicating like that, like, I'm physically giving you everything because I'm giving you all my time which everybody does that pretty much now like you reach out to me and I'll uh, I'll text you back and then whatever like I'm done like you, you want to keep the conversation going on we'll, we'll keep talking I'll talk forever but if you don't then I'm done you know I got other stuff I gotta do I would like to do I will do I got plenty of stuff to do I got plenty of stuff to do with myself. Like, I have fun by myself. And, um... I, dude, I'm going fishing. I'm going fishing. In the discussion. Dude, I gotta paint too, though. Dang it. I probably should go inside and paint. Um... A couple, listen to some music. Paint, and then go fishing. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Um... That's fire. And then be out on the water tonight all by myself and um see what happens man see what happens i ain't been out there i ain't been out there in such a long time and um i love it like i said even if i ain't catching nothing just me in the water me in the water some headphones a headlamp man just casting dude i gotta work out again too so I, I gotta just delegate my time a little bit better today um, than usual. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna start like setting 
like I'm not gonna paint I'm gonna set a date or time like every week maybe paint two days only and um, right now I'm so busy and trying to get all my work done and um, cause I got a lot of work a lot of work oh yeah yeah yesterday I was talking to dude and I was talking about um because Dude, I love these talks, man. Because, like, they're helping me learn so much more about myself every day. Um, that's why I know they're so important. Because I'm constantly checking myself. And um, even if it doesn't sound like it in my talks, like I am, I'm picking up what I'm putting down, if you know what I'm saying. And um, I was talking about saying no. And um, because before, people used to, just, we were yes. I was a yes man. Like, yeah, 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 I'll do it. And I never, you know, like, even if. Yeah, it, it sucks. A lot of times it sucks that people take advantage of you because they know you're going to say yes. And, uh, but now I say no all the time. <laughs> it's so funny. I love saying no to people, dude. I love it. And what's funny is, like, when I was a baby or younger, like, that was my favorite word anyways was no. Like, like you ask anyone in my family, they're like, Cody's favorite word was no. I told people no always. It's so weird. Like, no, like, no, don't touch me. No, 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 no. When I was little. See, so that's weird. That was a, that was a switch. That was a switch then, like, an extreme. Like, when I was a little kid, I said no all the time. And then I jumped to the other extreme, I guess, as soon as uh, Little Hoss... Dude, Little Hoss is fire, bro. So, like, he even knew. He he knew back then when he was a little bitty kid that... It didn't work. Extremes didn't work. Or the, or the way he was doing things didn't work. Therefore, he created a yes man. And then I lived as a yes man for a long, long, long time. Um until recently and then now I'm back into like now I'm I found balance finally it took me a lifetime to find balance man <laughs> but I love saying no to people now like if it makes zero sense to me if I'm not gonna win to um like if it's not worth my time um no no I'm not gonna do it like no it makes zero sense no And it's kind of cool because I programmed people to assume that I was going to say yes. And so now when they talk to me and I tell them no, like, I watch their brain melt. They're like, no, well, that's not, this is not the Cody I used to know. I was like, no, of course not. Because I know who I am now. I know my worth. And, um, it's cool. It's cool to have respect for yourself. And, um, to not always bend over backwards for everybody. Like, I mean, I, and I, I still love them, and, like, you know, I want to help people. Um, but like I said, other than, now I know that other than me just being my true self and then communicating with them and talking to them and, um, you know, being an inspiration like that, like, I can't do it for you. I want to. I really do. I, w I would love to if that was an option. I tried. I tried my whole life to do things for people. And it never worked out because it's impossible to change somebody else and still give them free will. Um, but now it's like, yeah, man, I love you. I'll, I'll reach out. I'll try and send you some word of encouragement. Um, man, this lawnmower, man. Send you some word of encouragement or something, but I can't do it for you. Like... You made your bed, baby. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> this is why I laugh because it sucks so bad. It, it sucks. Yeah, dude, it sucks so bad. <laughs> like, it sucks. <laughs> but it's funny because I created my life. That's what's so funny. And, like, everybody, and now I'm looking back because, like, because people start telling me all this stuff and I'm like, dude. <laughs> Like, it sucks, bro. Like, the stuff you're going through sucks. I feel so bad. I'm so empathetic for you. Believe me. 
but you created it, son. And the best thing to do is just say, F it, now fix it. Like, don't dwell on it anymore. Like, figure out a way to get past it. Like, think. Think hard. And be willing to do whatever it takes. Walk away from whoever you need to walk away from. Cry wherever you need to cry. Like, give up whatever you need to give up. Like, if you really want to change. Otherwise, tomorrow is going to be the same thing. You're going to be pouting. And then the next day, you're going to be pouting. And nothing's going to change. It's actually going to just get worse. You know, and that's kind of how I am with, um... I don't know, man. I lost my train of thought. I paused for the lawnmower, man. But, um... <sighs> but, yeah, like, you made your bed, man. It sucks. It sucks so bad, bruh. It sucks so bad. But whatever, man. I had to do it. I had to implement new rules for myself. Um... And that's kind of, honestly, that's where I'm at. Like... Like, if I want to, like, that's what sucks. It's like, I don't know if I just need to start go dating everybody that I see. Like anyone that intrigues me, like, if I should just go to town or what. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of like, like I said, I'm still working on myself and I am. Um, I'm kind of complain. like, I'm kind of comfortable where I'm at right now. Just because I'm so busy anyways with, like, my brain. But at the same time, it's like, you know, there's a lot of cool people out there. There's a lot of cool girls out there, man. They're funny. They make me laugh. <laughs> they make me laugh so hard. Oh, it's sick. This is my song right here. But, uh, man. Yeah, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, um, these people are so fired, and they're so, they're so cool. Um, I just don't know what to do, but I don't know. It'll all work out, man. Tomorrow I'll be 36. I'll be a grown ass man tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time in my life, I'm gonna be a grown ass man tomorrow. <laughs> Took me 36 years. <laughs> I'll do what I want. I'm a grown ass man tomorrow. <laughs> Not really, man. I'm still a child. I'm still having fun. But that's what's cool, man. That's the funniest thing is like, like, like why can't you have fun all the time? Well, as much as you want. Like, I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not like. <laughs> people think I bet people think I'm crazy. Like, really? They're like, dude, that dude's crazy. He's always freaking smiling, always dancing in his truck, just going ham speed, not speeding anywhere. <laughs> always obeying the laws of the road. <laughs> it's so funny, I passed a cop yesterday and he was he had a cell phone talking his talking on his cell phone. I was like, dude, I got pulled over a couple weeks ago and for having my cell phone in my hand. Of course, I, I didn't get a ticket, but they said it was no zero tolerance. So I was about to pull him over and get him a ticket. <laughs> I need to get a ticket book. I'm going to start doing that. You know why? Because I can. Because <laughs> I can. And I love it. <laughs> I always said I wanted the police to police. Now I'm going to do it for real. See what happens when I end up on the news. Some dude in the Batmobile <laughs> driving around ticketing police <laughs> and grinning while he's doing it. That's hilarious. I do it though. You're you're supposed to be holding like you. Come on, man. Come on, cops. Makes zero sense to me. To each his own, but whatever. I'm not no lawmaker right now. It's funny, man. I don't know. Today is funny. I can't wait. I'm going to paint. This talk's probably going to be short. Um, I want to paint. 
I want to paint bad, and then I want to load up my kayak, you know, and go kayaking. Well, I need to go work out, too, first. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see what happens. We'll see how I feel. Um, who knows? I mean, someone may call me, and I may end up going somewhere later. It's 444 right now, so. Um... Yeah, dude, it's fire day. It's a beautiful day. I went cut a yard. I have no idea what I did today. I went yoga. Yeah. Then went and bought paints. Yeah, it was kind of, today was kind of messed up short day because I had to go to the I had to go to the dump. And then I had to cut one yard, so it kind of just ruined everything as far as me going and doing a bigger job today. I just couldn't, I didn't have time. It just wasn't efficient enough for me to like drive all the way out there to do work without a lot of time. But whatever, who knows? Who knows? I'm excited about tomorrow. I'm trying to plan on what I want to do. Um, oh yeah, I, I did. So I've, a song came up, um... Like first song this morning, I turned it on, and it was called Thankful. And, like, the last couple of days, just, I've just been talking about gratitude and how thankful I am for everything. This morning when I woke up, obviously, did gratitude stuff. And just how thankful, like, I am about the whole journey. And the, and my life in general, like, I'm so thankful for all of it. I got money. Like, money has never been an issue in my life, ever. Like, ever, to be honest with you. Like, even if my bank account gets slow, like, it doesn't matter. Like, I have work. Or I have bills that I haven't collected from people. And I can just call them and get my money. Like, it's fire. Um, the way I've done my life is weird. Like, it, other people won't understand it. But, uh... Like, probably the biggest problem with my customers is they want to pay me. <laughs> it's so funny. They're, all the time, they're like, Cody, come on. You gotta... We gotta want to pay you, bro. I'm like, yeah, that's cool, man. They're like, we want to pay you. I'm like, that's fine, man. And then I'll send them a bill when I need money, you know, like three months from now, six months from now. And, um, and I'll get my money when I need it. But it's just the way I trick myself to help me, like, um, not just blow money. You know, so I can budget what I got, like in small quantities and not buy something stupid and dumb or go buy $250 pair of shoes or something stupid which I don't but to each his own really but that's why I don't buy nice cloth anyways because I always get it dirty and, and, and it gets ruined like in minutes like so I just don't buy nice stuff because I know what's going to happen to work clothes so I'm a worker and um <laughs> but it is funny they're always like man I had one guy, he was like, dude, he's like, dude, I've never had this happen before. I was like, what? He's like, I have to chase somebody down to pay them. <laughs> I was like, I just don't care about money. Like, I literally don't. Like, who cares? Whatever. Who cares? Stupid anyway. If I could work for free, I would. Like, legitimately. Like, I've always thought that in my head. Like, if I could just work for free, then I would just work for free. Like, really? Because, I mean, that was the mindset I had anyways. Because a lot of times I never wanted to do the jobs for these people. I just, um, a lot of it was I just felt bad for them. And, and I could do the work because it's e easy. Any Anybody can do what I do, like, literally. Construction work is the easiest thing in the world, for me, at least. Like, it makes perfect sense for me. Maybe, maybe it's not easy. Um, I think it's easy. But I can't read. I can't spell, so whatever. To each his own. Um, I can read, but it's just hard for me to spell in the moment. It's, like, it's almost like a... <laughs> like, I had a buddy who could eat, like, non like crazy. Like, like he eat, like, so much food. But then, like, um, at... At an eating, like, they were doing, like, an eating contest, and he couldn't eat anything because he got nervous. <laughs> so maybe that's what it is for me, like, spelling and stuff. Like, 
I get nervous. And I, it probably is. It's probably some. It probably like shoots me back into like childhood, where like where you had to like stand up in front of the class and read in front of them or spell in front of them, and like, and then you get embarrassed because you didn't do well. And so maybe that's some of it. Like, so like if I get put on the spot trying to read or spell something, like my brain's trying to catch up and I'm trying to battle like anxiety maybe. And um, and so I can't like I can't detach and like do that task, but but like with work or anything else, um, it's easy. But like when someone's watching you, like it sucks. Um, because I've done jobs. I've worked in some Asian people's houses, which this is just being stereotypical for a reason. Um, but. First of all, you gotta take your shoes off in there, which sucks. Cause like I'm working, like I need my shoes on, dude. A little protection, they help me. Like I'm not trying to slide around like the movies. Um, but then like I was doing a job, man, and the guy just followed you around and like was standing over your shoulder the whole time. I'm like, dude, you gotta go, bro. Like I'm fixing to leave. I cannot work here with you, like breathing down my neck, literally. Like it's it's the worst. So I guess like. When someone's watching you like that, you get anxiety and stuff, but... Well, I, like I said, I don't work for them, those people anymore. I was actually working for somebody when I was doing that. Like, I won't work for those people. Like, anyone who, who's like that or ask a billion questions, like... Just let me do my work, please. You got a problem at the end, we can, we can face it when it comes, but... Just let me do my job. Let me do it. Let me get done. It's easy. Easy. But it's cool, man. And that's that's what's crazy. It's like, I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to be doing this. I don't think so. I don't want to. Um, but it is weird that, like, now that I know my worth, I'm like, dude, this is, like, money. It's nothing but money. It's free money, and it's lots of money. If I want to be, if I want to grow it, there's just no one to work with, man. I don't have, I got one buddy who I, in the future I think will be good with. And um, that may be what a lot of this is, is me just kind of waiting till me and him can come together. And um, and then we can really build something great. Um, and that may be some of it. Cause I, yeah, because cause he's going to push me and I'm going to push him and teach him a lot. And um, it's going to be equal give and take and then who knows what will happen. And like I said, man, two people can turn some work, bro. Like if two people fast together, um, so fast, it's crazy how fast two people are compared to one. And um, I mean, I can do three or four times the work with one other person. Like it's crazy. But I don't know. I don't know. I gotta go get protein in the morning. My shake. Um, and then I don't know what what's going on. Okay, so it gets me back to my point. This is how my brain's crazy, dude. Oh, but that thankful song came on, dude. Right when I needed it, like it was crazy because it made me grin. I was like, "There's no way that this the name of the song is thankful." Like I'm thinking about being thankful right now, like nonstop. Like um, all I'm talking about, man. Lawnmower, and um. And so then I listen to it all day. And um, I go eat at my restaurant when I got through um, doing something. Before I went cut grass. So I was like, you know what? I'm hungry. Today's a beautiful day. I worked out real right after I went to yoga. I got through with yoga. And um, I was like, well, I need to eat. So I went to go eat and get my green beans, my asparagus, and my broccoli. And... Um, I sit down and then somebody made a hamburger and put cheese on it. And so she gave me, well, first she comes up to me, she goes, you do eat meat, don't you? I said, yeah, I eat meat. Because <laughs> she always makes fun of me because, like, my plate is always green. Like, it's nothing but green things. She even took a picture of me with my green plate. And um, oh, she's funny. She's hilarious. And um, 
But whatever. So she was like, you do eat meat, don't you? I was like, yeah, I eat meat. And she was like, um, well, here's this hamburger. Because we got cheese on it. And some, someone ordered without cheese. I was like, yeah, I'll eat it. And so I got to eat that. And then I still got to eat my two orders of green beans, my asparagus, and my broccoli. Um, which is cool because I wasn't going to eat any protein. So I was like, in my head, I'm like, thank you. You know, like I told her thank you, but like thank you God because like, I needed my protein, but I wasn't gonna get any. I was just gonna eat my greens, you know, like I always do. And um, maybe it's stupid, maybe it's a stupid idea, but to me it was like I'm cool. That's awesome. Thank you. Like thank you world for doing this for me. Like I need to make sure I eat my protein every meal, even if I just do eat greens. I need to get protein somehow. And, um, I don't know, but it was cool, because I was, like, listening to that song, and just being thankful, and then, like, I got something, and I was, like, I'm still thankful, like, this, this proves why I should be thankful, for little stuff like this. I wasn't expecting the hamburger for free, I got a hamburger for free, like, and a good one, not, like, a cheap hamburger, either, like, a expensive hamburger for free, and, um, it's cool, man, I wasn't expecting it, it's cool to just be gifted something, it's fire, um, it's super fire to be gifted something. I love it. I need to probably like start making like gift baskets or something. Um, I need to figure out like what I need to do. Just like gift people something cool. Like not cool, but just thoughtful. Like maybe a little handwritten note. Maybe I should just start writing notes every night. Or on the weekend, just like pound out a bunch of notes. And um... You know, and like, dude, that's it, bruh. I got it. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do like little flyers or brochures or something with like, um, with my card in it, my number, and um, just a little note. And um, when I meet somebody new or something, I just hand it to them, you know, like, for you, whatever. Have a good day. I love you. Peace. You know? Whatever happens, happens. Who knows? That's cool. And it's cheap. Like, I could go spend, you know, a hundred bucks and get it, like, I could have infinite amount of this stuff, like papers and stuff. And, um, that's cool, man. Like I said, you never know who you touch. Like, you never know who you affect. And, like, you just need to make sure that, like, whatever you're doing is not affecting people in a bad way. And, um, always be positive and be thankful and like you know please and thank you all the magic words and ask people how their day is going and like really mean it though like when you ask a question like really truly mean it like and, and be ready for the answer like be ready for some stuff to come out like like I'm struggling bro like help me you know and then be willing to help be willing to put everything off and spend your time with that person like you never know you could save somebody's life. They could save yours. You just never know. And, um, but that's what it's about, man. Like, people. I had a buddy, he told me he, something about buying a bike or something, and but he needs somebody to ride with. I was like, yeah, dude. It's like, dude, life, that's the point of life. It's, you can do it by yourself. I'm having fun by myself. I truly am. But it could be intensified like a hundred thousand, infinite amount of times with people. And um, it's the same thing with like my friends that I met that I gone over to the last this two Sundays. Like, it's the same thing. They keep just saying like, it's it, it's so awesome just to see my driveway fill with cars, and to have like family there. And when they're talking about family, they're talking about us, like people. They're not not legitimate family. They're just talking about like. Oh, the, that family, the chosen family, man. It's like, it just makes us so happy. Like, and then they're building their house, they're remodeling the house and stuff to cater to that. Like, that's all that they care about is they want their house to be perfect so people can come and stay and fellowship and have a good time. Like, because they understand that, like, this world is about people. Everything's about people. And it's just so fire. Because that's what, that's me. It's like, yes, I'm by myself. You know, like, I'm having fun and stuff. And, um, 
but it's ultimately about people. Like, I can only have so much fun by myself. <laughs> you know? Like, it's so much more fun when there's someone sitting across from you, like, and you're trying to, you're playing a game together or whatever. Like, it's fire, man. And communicating and challenging each other. Like, it's fire. I just love people. And that's why I think the communities, when we build the communities, like, it's going to be fire all the time, dude. And, um, dude, it's going to be so fun because our kids are going to be playing together all the time. Like, you know, it's going to be like the old days, man, where, like, the kids don't have to come home till freaking street lights on, you know? And, um, like, we know they're safe. You know, we know we know what they're in the perimeter, and we know that with other good-loving kids, yeah, they're going to get in trouble and do some hood rat stuff with their friends. But that's just part of being a kid. Like, and we're going to teach them not to do some hood rat stuff. And we're not supplied the stuff for them to do hood rat stuff with. You know, like, we got to be very mindful of that. Um, and how we raise them. Um, but we got to let them make mistakes and not let them play and be kids. Um, that's fire. That's going to be fire. Like, you know, and then it's the same. Like, all your adults are going to be hanging out together, like... It's gonna be like brothers and we're all gonna be brothers and sisters. Like, it's gonna be fire, dude. It's gonna be so cool. I said, but that's the vision I have, man. Which brings me back to like the first time I went and got the haircut from some girl. She goes, "You're gonna start a cult." And I said, "Yeah." <laughs> and then this is what it sounds like. It sounds like I'm freaking to start a cult, and it's not. I'm not starting anything, man. I'm just. I'm building, I want to build a dream for that everyone else has in their head too. Like, that's what's so funny is everyone I'm meeting, they want the same. They want to build a community together, like, and, and get out of this rat race, man. And, um, just have each other's backs and, like, raise our kids together and just love together. Like, have fun together, man. What it's supposed to be about. And it's going to happen. Even if it just starts with 20 of us. And, um... It's going to happen. Like, it's inevitable. In... At, yeah, I can't say it. But I know what I'm trying to say. But it's going to happen. It's going to be cool, man. And it'll be here before we know it. It'll be cool. Super cool. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't... And that's... I was thinking in my head, like, man, you know, like, I got to... Something new's got to happen soon because, um... I ain't got nothing to battle anymore. And as bad... As much as battling sucked, I loved it. I'm a weirdo and I like pain, obviously. So like, I like the battle in part, really. Even though it sucks, but now I kind of miss it. Um, Cause I miss like the emotion with it. Like I miss the ups and downs a little bit and um, the, the uncontrollableness, like the un, um, it's weird. It's cause it's like, I'm in control, but I'm not in control. Um, like I'm, I get to feel these random things that come out of nowhere that are surprising and spontaneous and um, But then I know I'm in control like I know I can beat him if I do the work and Then it gets my brain going and I get to think and be constructive and um So now it's like man now I got I'm, I'm gonna miss I Need something to fill my time. Um, I need new battles to face I need new ideas to try and, and beat and conquer. I need um, new problems to solve. And um, you know, and maybe that would lead me in the future to like 
me helping other people solve their problems. So like, they'll tell me about their percept, their 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 life, and I'll have to try and with my perception and my knowledge and my experience, try and f just suggest things like in my head, w see what I think would work, and then it would give me problems to solve every day. Like, if I meet with somebody, they tell me their problem, and I try and solve it the best that I can and just suggest an idea about, you know, maybe this this is how you could do it. Or maybe since I'm so empathetic, I can grab that emotion and use it and then create that problem in my life, I mean, in my imagination, like truly create it um, and believe it and make it real enough to where I have to, I can use it like my old dude because yeah, because ultimately your past is just crap. It's a lie. It's a story. Who knows if, if your past really happened or didn't happen? And um, so I, so if I could have the ability to create something and make it so real into my brain, and I'm so empathetic so I can grab their emotions, and um, I could relive the event like with them, um, and then I could walk myself through it, and reshape it if they could do the same process um, it may be a little bit different um, but then you know but then if I can teach them to do the same thing I did where I grabbed their experience and created it in my world and made it real so I could beat it and then so they, they would need to take my answer or my suggestion and put it into their world to create it and reshape theirs a little bit so they can beat that situation. So maybe that would be cool. That'd be something fire. Um, because like I said, now I just feel like I don't have anything to battle. <sighs> like, yeah, I have abandonment issues sometimes still, but they're so quick. Like, who cares? Like, that's my final answer. Like, who cares? And a lot of it is it's just because I just don't care. Like, people are going to leave. Like, that's the life. And um, if it comes up, sucks, maybe cry a little bit and, and feel your feelings and be sad. But then, like I said, the next day you wake up and it's a new day. And, like, keep moving forward and um, whatever. Create what you want to create, you know? I don't know. I could be wrong about everything, and um, who knows, tomorrow I'll have more information, and um, everything I say today could be completely wrong, and I'm okay with that, I truly am, because my intent is good, like I'm, and it's just for me, like honestly, all this stuff is just for me, and I doubt anyone listens to my stuff, like uh, whatever. Or they may listen to one or two and that's it. It's too long. There's a lot. It's a long. It's a long talk. It's like... It'd be weird if you did listen to it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've listened to so much stuff on the internet, bro. Like, I listen to hours and hours and hours and hours of people talking. Like, I love it. It's so much information. But there's so much... But they're like so structured though like I'm I don't think I'm structured at all like I'm all over the place but a lot of people that I listen to like they're always like so structured and like I'm like bouncing over everywhere and um it's weird to me but I don't know I've been talking for an hour so this one's probably done uh I may talk again tonight I don't know I'm gonna go inside, turn my music on, and just dance and paint, and um, try and paint a couple real quick, and then hit the gym. Um, probably try and hit the gym. I gotta make sure I drink enough water, and then um, who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen, man? Tomorrow's my birthday, and um.
Who knows what will happen? I'm excited. I mean, heck, I got a free hamburger today, man. Who knows what I'll get tomorrow? <laughs> Either way, it's going to be fire. Because I'm just going to beat around town tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to work tomorrow um, at all. I think I'm just going to chill, hang out, and... Um, I'm going to go work out probably twice tomorrow. Um, but other than that... I'll probably go get me some green beans tomorrow. Um, it's my birthday. I get what I want. Get what I like. Spend money on myself. And... Um, I don't know. I don't know. But it's a good day. Today's a good day. And like I said, I love you. I love me. I'm glad. I can't wait to listen to this one because I had to battle something real quick in the beginning. And um, I got some new insight that I need to re-listen to multiple times um, and reform something. And um, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to be patient with everything. Like patient with the journey, patient with my progress, and when I say progress, I'm talking about like my mental health, my physical health, money, finances, all of it, like, um, just be patient with my life, because that's the whole thing, I think I told somebody, I was like, man, I was like, you know, I'm proud of myself, and, um, but I, I can't. It's unrealistic for me to change everything in a day. Like, it, that hardly ever happens. You know, like, or a week, or three weeks, or a month, or six weeks, or a year. You know, like, so I just gotta be happy with the progress that I've made. Like, as a man, dude, I'm way, I'm a man compared to a boy. Tomorrow I'm gonna be a grown ass man. And, um,. <laughs> put my big boy pants on tomorrow and um but then I talked to another guy and he's like yeah uh you know just trying to stay busy and like keep keep having a purpose and I think a lot of what I'm doing is like this is part of my purpose to constantly grow like my art some of my purpose um right now repairing things is some of my purpose and helping people with that physical aspect of my life and um and then talking to people is my purpose, like, and then ultimately all those things together combined is making me be a better man for my future wife and kids. Like, that's the overall purpose. And, um, it's to make sure that I'm ready for her. And, um, because that's all I can worry about anyway, is make sure that I'm ready for when my wife comes and then I make sure I'm ready for her and not the other way around. Like, hopefully she's ready for me, but I just need to hold up my end, you know? And quit worrying about the other. So I give her what she deserves. Because if all of us are, like, worthy of everything and deserve everything, like, then I need to be make sure that I can give her everything. Um, and so, but yeah, maybe I need to Make sure that I have tons of money saved up and stuff like that, too. Um, and stuff like that, you know, like, even if I think the money system's kind of stupid and dumb, it doesn't matter. It's the way the world works, so I need to make sure that I have plenty um, to meet her needs as well, like, and so she feels safe and secure with, with it, and, um, Whatever. Which I'm learning that now. I'm learning that now. It's like, now, yeah, Cody, you can't just keep... Um, you can't keep li living your lifestyle just because it's okay with you. Now you gotta, like, prepare and be catering for, like, um, more stuff. Because now you gotta care for all that, you know? And so that's what I'm gonna do. You know, I'm gonna... Be like a squirrel and store up nuts for the winter, you know what I'm saying? And, um, it'd be cool. 
It'd be cool, but I'll holler later. Peace.